like clockwork. As the South Florida sun scorches us every July, the number of speeding tickets increases, according to the Florida Highway Patrol. But there's a certain kind of speeder that's been showing up more and more in recent years. Speeding violations issued for 50 miles per hour or more over the speed limit have doubled since 2012. 50 miles per hour over the speed limit is a staggering rate of speed. And again, extremely dangerous. Bad things can happen at that speed. And one of the worst examples of high speed crashes came last November when Cape Coral police say a 17 year old was going 100 miles an hour here on Skyline Boulevard, a city road, when they crashed into another vehicle, ultimately killing that driver. That 17 year old is now charged with vehicular homicide and will be tried as an adult. I know that uh, as a society, we're very numb to just say, oh, it's a tragedy, but this was a preventable tragedy. If they weren't speeding, the collision likely wouldn't have happened. I pulled the numbers and found Collier County has issued 180 excessive speeder tickets just in the last three years. Increasing speeds has become a real serious problem for us. Our accidents are increasing. Our injuries are increasing, our fatalities are increasing. But it's not just the excessive speeders. Sheriff Kevin Rambosk said he also keeps track of how many people are ticketed for going 30 over the speed limit. Last month alone, we issued 110 violations just for that. Law enforcement from all across Southwest Florida hoping drivers will keep everyone safe on the roads by slowing down.